Hey Clash back here with another Lineage True Love Vision video, and today we're going to talk about the events, the dice event, and the mount event, and the kind of surprising twist at the end of the amount event that you might not be ready for, so let's check this out. So, events, uh, we already talked about the treasure token exchange shop, uh, we finished that up, um, got all the varnishes that we can get, um, so we're all done with that event, um, the other event is the event... Equipment jump jump event. Um, most, just like every other dice events, you collect events by doing weekly quests and resetting your daily dungeon and doing Temple Guardian and Summoning Circle, blah, blah, blah. The more you reset, the faster you go. Um, the rewards on the board are really not that great, but hey, free stuff is free stuff. Um, the lap rewards are okay. It's a lot of varnishes, um, you know, white varnishes, which cost one Adina to use. So those are pretty cool, and they're worth getting. So, you know, do the dice event, don't skip over it, but it's not going to change your life. So the mount event is the last event. It's been going on for about a week or so. I already got most of it done. I've gone to SR. I'm going to do one more quest today. Uh, you can see here, um, i got to do four more summoning circles, so it's going to be about two more days unless I do resets to complete the event, um, which I'll have plenty of gear and plenty of advancement stones because I've saved those up. So one tip there is, you know, don't burn through all your equipment and your summoning stones every single day. Hold some, otherwise it's going to slow down your event. So you can see I've stockpiled like 60-some uh, mount equipment pieces that I haven't used yet for the event, and i got 19 advancement stone boxes. So I'll be the a easily able to finish the event and won't be held up. So just save some of those as you go, and your event will go a lot faster, and you won't be waiting on stuff just open it up as you need it for this event and then once you're done just plow through it so back to the surprising part of this event if you didn't catch it earlier is to complete this event you actually need to deploy camelot which is the new camel mount um and as far as i know there's no way to get that for free without buying it from the shop in the bundle so uh if you go into bundle shop and go right here, limited time discount Camelot bundle. It's actually not a terrible deal. If you look at the Lion Mount, which was a hundred bucks, and it started as an S. And this is a thirty dollar mount that starts at SR. Plus you get a thousand blue diamonds, um, a few pet ham scrolls, and a hundred thousand Adina, which you know, not gonna change your life, but a hundred thousand Adina is still a decent amount. Um, a thousand blue diamonds is pretty much, um, if you look, about thirty bucks by itself, right? Right, a thousand eighty diamonds are thirty bucks. So basically, if you buy blue diamonds already, this is like a free mount bonus if you're buying diamonds. So if you're not completely free to play, this is actually a pretty good deal. From my understanding, it gets um, or five thousand CP once you buy it and equip some armor on it and things like that. So um, we're going to grab it today so you can see for yourself. You can watch my CP um, and see how it looks. It's a pretty cool looking mount. So we'll buy that. Alright, so we got the mount. We'll go collect it from our inbox. There's all the stuff we got, as promised. The thousand blue diamonds, which is nice. All the dice from the dice event. So if we go into character, mounts, and now we select, we can summon it right here. It actually looks pretty cool. There you go. Um, let's look at its stats before we do that. It's a little bit more of a tank, more like the horse or the beetle. It's a little more defensive, not quite as offensive as the, the lion mount. So there we go. Um, we've got it. Now we can auto-equip. As you can see, I've saved some gear, um, some S's and R's and A's. So I kind of saved those up knowing I was going to get the mount. So if you're going to get the mount um, and you're going through the summoning circle with the bonus, you start saving some of your higher mounts so you can go ahead and auto-equip that. You can see there's another 2,300 CP. Um, so we gained a nice chunk of CP. Um, you know, you can think there's a lot of $30 bundles for enhancements where you can literally get no CP or end up losing CP on enhancements that go bad. So um, think about it that way. It's actually a pretty good deal. Um, if you're free to play, obviously that doesn't work for you, but mm, there you go. There's the uh, camel. I'll actually select it quick, and we'll just see what it looks like here. Um, all right, there it is. It looks pretty cool. It's pretty fast, as you can see. It runs around pretty cool. Um, so if you see anybody riding the camel around, you know they're not free to play. So 
there you go that's what the camel looks like well let's go back and equip the lion You can see my lion still has about 26,000 more CP, but I have a lot of good gear on that. So um, a lot of cool stuff here. Um, that's the mount. The other thing, in the uh, event itself, um, as you're working on things, it's going to ask you to do things like enhance. You know, if you don't have a lot of enhancement scrolls, enhance some of your stuff on your other mounts, like your horse or your beetle, where you may have some stuff that's at level one. You can do it like 100% one scroll per don't try to do everything on your main amounts if you're trying to get through this event save your stuff um we we'll grab that so tomorrow we'll complete or two days we'll complete this event we'll get those thousand blue diamonds so that means we'll get two thousand blue diamonds plus all the cp plus hundred thousand adina and a few other things for that thirty dollars so not a terrible deal um what i'll use that uh actually the thing i like the most right now um is in the collector shop for a thousand blue diamonds i used to do the long end diamond but now i'm doing the login material so i really like this bundle uh for helping me get to that ur i'm getting rip recipes getting materials i need plus a lot of scraps so um that's what i'm going to put these blue diamonds to um and we'll get those and there we go let's see let's do a cp check here you know so we gained about five thousand cp with that camel um and that's not really working or tweaking it any of the mounts or anything like that so pretty good deal in my opinion you know, if you're not free to play, 30 bucks isn't a big deal to you. I think that's a good way to spend that 30 bucks. Otherwise, enjoy the pet mount event, but know that you're not going to finish it without spending that 30 bucks. And now you know that, hopefully, before you get there and you can prepare yourself for that moment. Thanks for tuning in. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Hella Clash. Like, subscribe, comment on my videos, and tune in for more great lineage content.